hello everyone thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate you all for coming back to watch my videos and if you are new here my name is lily and if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification put it on the last one that says all so that anytime i upload a video you'll be notified please do it to like this video how do i feel about um newspaper publication about about nigerian youtubers living in ghana so a lot of people want to know how i'm feeling do i feel like being i'm being attacked do i feel like i am the target do i feel like i am hated and generally how do i feel the honest truth is that i don't feel anything i love it because see it's only when you are doing something right that people will take your matter to a big newspaper like that one we are talking about a newspaper that is read by the president is a most read for any sitting president of the federal republic of nigeria and of course all the dignitaries in nigeria read that particular newspaper people like Idangote, denuga or ted dollar alakeja and the rest gozi iwala pito b yeah even the former president of nigeria or former presidents of nigeria like obasanjo buhari and the rest of them that are still living they read this particular newspaper i'm not exaggerating i am telling you what i know and one day i will make a video that will connect to what i'm saying right now when i decide to tell you more about my real self who i am and how i got here like that have made me the envy of all these millipedes nigerian <laughs> youtubers that are so jealous that they cannot sleep at night because of their enviness for me it's now making them feel like they hate me to the point that they took this matter to the national dailies so i as a matter of fact i do not feel bad about it at all at all i do not feel attacked you know why the reason is i am a nigerian and i was born raised in nigeria even though i was born raised at a countryside um, but Nigeria babe na Nigeria babe Nigeria blood na Nigeria blood do you understand as a Nigerian you are a Nigerian you like it or not no matter how well they raised you there is something about you that want to be defensive so I grew up in my village I left my village to the city I have lived in almost every part of Nigeria and I have lived with the rich and mighty I have lived in the village of course I was born in the village I have lived with the rich and powerful of Nigeria I have lived with the extreme poor of Nigeria I have lived with the middle class Nigerians I have lived with sack illiterates and I have lived with educated people I have like I know Nigeria like like I could tell you about the back of my hand. I know the attitude of majority of Nigerians and I can tell you just by asking you where are you from? Once you tell me where you're from, I already know what to expect. That is how much I know Nigerians and how much I know my country, Nigeria. So I am not bothered about the hits you see on YouTube by all these um, YouTubers. They are using me to create content, which is quite okay. I am their role model and they have realized that a video that has me on their thumbnail or has me as a topic of discussion in that video it gets the audience retention it gets the view it gets the uh, amount of engagement they have never dreamed of they have never seen in their lives do you understand so i don't usually feel like i'm being hated these people do not hate me they simply want to be me so out of jealousy it makes them feel like they hate me and it makes them feel good which is okay because normally hatred is when you don't even for me when i because for me when i hate you i don't even want to near you i don't want to talk about you i don't want you in my my topic i don't want you in my topics i don't want anything to do with you when i do not like you not to even talk of when i hate you when i hate you, i don't even want to remember you but these people do not hate me they are just using me to create content and i dare any of them to drop talking about me or trying to make Ghana and Nigeria I to make Nigerians and Ghanaians have issues on YouTube and see if they will get a single support from Nigerians 
I dare them. So it's not like they're attacking me. No, they are creating content. And that is okay. I love to feed the poor. I love to feed untalented people. I love to feed. Feed through me. After all, this year, there's a popular pastor in Nigeria that have prophesied that you will give food to your the, the people of the, your circle like the people from your place and these nigerians are from my place they are nigerians from nigeria i am a nigerian so they are feeding through talking about me and making it look like they hate me so i don't have issues with them doing the work of god and because you come to think of it sometimes i feel very embarrassed when i see a youtube video by a young nigerian abled bodied nigerian and this person is copying every single thing that I have done, I have said in a video, words for words. I feel ashamed. I feel so, so ashamed. And I don't know what to say, but who am I to complain? So if it's either they are doing that, I have two class of Nigerians on YouTube here that are accepts with me, that admires me so much. One of the set is the one I just talked about. Are the ones that copy every single content I do on here. When I sit down, come up with an intelligent topic, they will come up with it and use my words word for word. They will pause as my video is playing, they will open their lips the same way and bring out the same sound and they pause again, get it. You understand? So they do this, put the videos together, put it out here, and people are commenting, people are watching it. It's good at feeding them and helping their ministry because Nigeria is hard. Do you understand? So I cannot sit down here and be stingy. And I have another class of Nigerians. These are the ones that are too proud. The ones that feel like, mm, who is she? After all, she's from the minority tribe. Why should I copy her? Let me pretend to hate on her. It's part of the content, so I am not bothered, all right? And ever since I became the talk of the continent, the only reason I would have been bothered is if my mom was a literate woman that can read or uh, that, has access, that has access to this particular newspaper in Nigeria, she would have read and be bothered and called me, you know, and be worried, what have you done and stuff. So I am not bothered because my mom cannot read. She does not know anything about me. The only thing my mom knows is that I live in Ghana and I do YouTube videos. So she does not know that some people are envious of me to the extent that they took me and presented me to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, I have gone ahead of all these people to meet the president. All that is left now is for Tinumbu to invite me over to Abuja for dinner. This is all because this man has helped me. Failed to journalists has really helped me, you know, by introducing me to the rich and mighty of Niger people. And he has just promoted my channel because people come on here to search for Nigerian YouTubers in Ghana. And I've not really had time. I've not really had time to make these videos to take advantage of, of that publicity given to Nigerian YouTubers in Ghana. At least everyone is avoiding, everyone is running away, uh, everyone is calling. Hey, Lily, they are talking about you. Yeah, that is because I am the most intelligent. They are talking about me. It seems like, the reason it seems like I am the center of attraction here in that publication is because I am the most intelligent of them all. I am the smartest, the realest. I am the only one that is doing this from my heart. I am standing with my chest tall fearlessly because I fear no man, for I fear no evil. For thou art with me. To get it, I've always said it that I am a believer of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I am not afraid. So when people are looking for who to attack, they will not go for all these all these unintelligent copycats with there. No, if it's you, if it's you. Hold on, wait. If they give you opportunity to choose all the currencies in the world, are you going to choose the weak ones? You're going to go for dollars. Do you understand? So I am the dollar among them. I am the hard currency of the Nigerian YouTubers in Ghana. So that is why it looks like I'm the center here. I'm the one they are talking about. And besides, 
who again are they going to talk about? The ones that are copying from me. Because almost, it's just a few Nigerian YouTubers in Ghana that are not copying my content. The rest are copying me. So I pretend to make it look like they are talking about me. Is these are the ones that want to create their content badly now that they have gotten the views that Nigerians or not really will not give to them until I am in the video until I am featured in that topic they won't let me rest again so keep it up babies all right this um other set that acts like they are on drugs or in case you do not know these categories on Nigerians we know them back at home nobody takes them serious so the reason you see people at their comment section hailing them telling them hey you're doing a good job is because see I am a big deal like they took me to the president you made me the envy of them all and that is why everyone is attacking on me do you understand see it's only when someone is worth it that you will dedicate a whole do you understand and another thing again you do not know about nigerians is that that is because i am a big deal whatever i'm doing is making them go crazy i'm actually doing the right thing i am spilling nothing but fact and they can't stand it so they want to fight a weak failed journalist that wants his name to be mentioned at all costs by me he's talking about going to court go to court with you with you no sir come on i will never go to court with anybody i'm a christian i leave my case to god you people by the time you finish crying you stop crying you'll be fine another thing that makes it look like they hate me is because of tribalism in nigeria if I mention a tribe now, people will start purging here at the comment section and use that one to console themselves. Hey, you are hating on this tribe. Fine. Some tribes in Nigeria cannot stand it when you, from the minority tribe, is standing tall. And that is exactly what people like Tacha is fighting in Nigeria. I don't know if you know Tacha. Tacha of Big Brother Naja. That is exactly why some Nigerians pretend they hate her. Because she is smarter than theirs truly. Put together, she is way smarter than the rest, and she is not from the majority tribe. So who the hell is this girl? Who the hell is she? Why is she? They can't stand it when you are better than their own. So this is a case of tribalism. According to them, they are planning on how to pull my YouTube channel down, a channel they didn't create. How are you going to pull it down? Like how? You're going to send me links? I get those links already. So it's tribalism. They can't stand the fact that someone from my part of Nigeria is like this, like I am. Like who the hell is she? Which of the families is she from? Which state is that? That is the attitude of my fellow Nigerians, some Nigerians. All right. So use your heads. This is nothing strange to me. Okay. So I, I don't care. Like I don't see them. I see these videos, but they don't do anything to me. I end up laughing. I watch these videos too. So, and some of them are saying they're happy. Oh, you do watch my videos. Hey, you do watch my videos. That means she watched my videos. Yes, I watch all of your videos. The ones that want to bring problem between Nigerians and Ghanaians. I put an eye on you. If I check it, you're talking about me. I laugh. If I want to continue watching it, if I'm not busy, I continue to watch it. If I am, I'll leave it. So it's not like Nigerians hate me, okay? Some people from some tribes that cannot stand it, they are the ones that act like they hate me. I am well loved. I am a lovable person. I have friends in Nigeria. I have Yoruba friends. I have Igbos. The only set of people I've not really had friends with are the Alsas. Except maybe I just do business with their men. You know, because their women are quite reserved. So I've no, I don't have any outside friend. But I have friends in almost every tribe in Nigeria. Yeah. The fun part is this particular tribe that attacks themselves the most in the name of me, that envies me the most. All my friends that can key for me, for my sake, are from there. When I do all these videos, they watch it. They will laugh, roll for grand, call me later. Lily, leave my people that waiting we do you. 
but they know in my heart i do not hate any tribe i am only speaking nothing but fact so all these things these people are doing it doesn't bother me what they want to do is for me to keep quiet let them continue to bully innocent people it has nothing to be to do with them being Ghanaians. you bully anybody i see you i catch you i bully you back i give you a taste of your own medicine so what they are planning to do is for me to allow them to continue to cause problems for nigerians living in ghana because some of these people were living in ghana but because of according to them ghana is too coarse their yahoo husbands could no longer sustain life he has to go back to nigeria so he, as the men are going they pulled them like piece of rock and took them and dumped them there in nigeria so they are bitter and they wish they are living in ghana just like me it's your choice to go back to nigeria so why are you crying cry me a river baby they can't take it they can't understand it normally what they would have advised me to do to do it right to be able to look like them this year whole set of nigerians is me coming to sit here and start to accuse Ghanaians of the things they have not done or start to lie start to find fault in ghana another thing is you know start to find fault with everything they do start to lie start to belittle them start to just behave in here i can't do that they didn't raise me that way mama raised me well mama raised me well baby okay so it's not my fault and i am fearless i'm not afraid if you want to come okay but you know what i have always told you guys that any day you try to kill me you will pick up a knife and stab every member of your family all the people that you love you will start with them you will kill all of them and by the time you're done killing them you will stab yourself i have said that all the time because for me i'm not planning any evil against you and some of them are so sweet with like they want to die they even start cooking up stories like they saw me at a hospital in nigeria that i'm sick they said they saw me i'm sick the other one say oh nakama they catch him nakama really oh god you people will be all right just millipede woman the one that acts like she know it's all use me grow my my dear use me grow so that your cuts in behind your videos you can take it off ah use me grow biko hmm? i dash you use me grow use me grow i'm feeding you 2024 at the boy you say feed them feed your friends feed your neighbors feed your country people i am doing my part i am feeding this set of nigerians and i'm feeding this set of nigerians do you understand so have it for free i don't have any problem i love you and even though i don't care about you any day you see me you near me you go collect the ones that are coming to sit and they are speaking english like <laughs> so they are the, the ones that are crying me river they are their fans they'll go there and be crying at the comment section of these people oh duh the real truth is these people do not hate me these are these are the issues okay that is how toxic some nigerians are when they are jealous of you they want to die they will make it look like they hate you they don't hate me they are envious of me and up 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 i shall go nyoruko jensu shami so i'm done with this video i will be back here another time um this other man said by saturday he has another release he's going to release another uh, it's going to release another promotion and I hope that this time you put my name shame on you Ah, the newspaper for me. Unado, please keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up uh, You want people to bring you international. It's not me. I'm not gonna announce your name. Okay, but you're just a disgrace for promoting social media war between Ghanaians and Nigeria and History will judge you